Hey everybody, Aloha Milton here. Quick, quick video. The release of the LNG tank for your industrial cryogenic gas storage needs for your N-scale layout. So there you go. It's 70 millimeters across in real life to size it, you know, areas in your layout. In N-scale, that's about 35 mil or 35 feet across, which makes it a smaller cryogenic storage tank of this type for an industrial facility. A lot of times at that volume, then they start going into the um, like tank-shaped ones that are like long and narrow with rounded ends that are like um, LNG and LPG storage tanks that you see at like a distributor or something. But still, this is realistic. I saw online manufacturers like steel companies that build these things offering 40-foot versions. So I figured 35, good enough. Um, because I got limited space on my layout, as most end scalers do, and they need to fit things in. But I'll release a bigger version if people want, um, just to ask. I'm probably going to make a 100 millimeter version just for my own use. I'll release that as well. But for now, this is what we got. Some details to make it go next to these, you know, modern tank cars are looking pretty good these days. These, these Athern LPG tank cars, they got a lot of details on them, on the ladders, and railings and everything looks real good so the LPG storage facility needs to have ladders and railings and all that as well. I haven't painted this. I think it'll look a lot better painted. I may print some parts in gray, the ladder and such. Oops, I've gone in too close and it won't focus. But there you can see the vertical frame underneath the platform has a ladder on it and with some painting that'll all pop out and be nice. Same with the railings. Um, it's got those railings that are curved for that upper ladder turning into a stairway because of the curve of the, of the sphere. It's got upper railing. It's got the pipe for the material. Vertical frame to support the pipe. There's some little pipe brackets within that frame that snap on to the pipe. You can see them in there. Snap those onto the pipe and they allow gluing of the frame onto those. Everything lines up real easy. I'll do another video on construction when I print the next one because I'm going to replace that one in back with the newer model. So there you go. It's already up on two and a half minutes. So we'll just leave you with a nice view of the port chemical industries coming along nicely even though I haven't got the ground in yet. I'll put quarter inch foam core foam board underneath everything. Uh, mark out the track areas on that. I cut the track areas out so the track sits down into that material so that I don't have to lay down a quarter inch of plaster to build up the ground surface to the track level because in this industrial area the track is all kind of at ground level. There's not a lot of um, raised up grade or anything like that. Alrighty, everybody. Hope you enjoy the model. Feel free to make comments and suggestions for modifications for the next version, which probably improve it and do that in a couple of weeks when I, if there's too many issues on this one that I notice as I go along I'll be like oh, I gotta fix that I gotta fix the other thing and the other thing and if you think there's anything I need to fix as well let me know and I'll do a re-release in like you know two weeks or a month that's an improved version all right one last look at the facility which I'm thinking is Going okay. Some of the storage tanks and tank cars over here. This is going to be my home. Chemical storage or chemical industries for the port of Fog Beach, which is uh, loosely based upon the port of Long Beach. And that's what I got to work with as far as uh, the southern end of my layouts run. All right. Cheers, everybody. Happy modeling. I hope your weekend went well. Hope you get lots more done today. Take care. Bye bye.